kind of acrid. Uh, yeah. Which is kind of surprising. Um, I figured that it'd just be a nice full body cup of coffee, but instead, like, I don't know, fully. A delicious cup. What's cuppa. going on here? Yeah, but it it doesn't it doesn't taste like a delicious cuppa. I think it's it's real uh, personal growth, Rob. That you can admit here in front of so many people, your peers, your friends, your subscribers, that <laughs> even you can make a shit cup of coffee. It and- it happened. Uh, it's true. <laughs> Anyone can make a shit cup of coffee, even you, Patrick. I make a shit one every day and I just get used to the fact that it's <laughs> shitty and I just I go to Comcast I buy the big pound of dirt that they sell and I pour that into the cheap coffee maker and I like it. <laughs> big old pound of dirt. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh Rob, are your beans yeah. old? No, they're actually quite fresh. Um mm. my only my only thought is that it, that it could be that uh, I haven't washed the grinder in like a week or so? Uh, uh, so maybe there's some like bad oils uh, that like got mixed in there. Um, it's totally so, possible. Have you recently yeah, switched to... beans? No, I'm uh, yeah, a. I've been sticking with this uh, with, with with these beans for a couple years now. What beans are they? Uh, they are the. Uh, New Harvest Steamroller Blend. Uh, New Harvest is a coffee company out of Providence. Nice. And they just got a lot of a lot of good uh, roasts that I really like, um, but it just didn't. Some artisan, artisanal locally roasted beans. Reasonably local. Reasonably <laughs> local. Close enough. That's all oh, those anyway. all those states up there are the same to me. <laughs> uh, speaking yeah. of reasonably local. Uh, Rob, we recorded uh, an episode, a, a an episode of the, the new sports podcast that'll be live uh, before the end of today um, for Waypoint Plus subscribers. And one thing that came up, we didn't get to it in the podcast itself because, like everything we do, it's like, oh, it'll be fine. We'll find time for that. And like two hours and fifteen minutes in, it's like, no, I got to pick up my children. <laughs> like we don't have time for this. <laughs> but you had mentioned uh, as an aside that. Well, why don't you explain what what, what Comcast, our, our our dear Lord Comcast, is asking of you, um, and that kind of like sets up why why well, we are here today. It's very simple, Patrick. Uh, they are asking hmm. for more money. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> in this economy, uh... yeah. So I have been paying uh, like for my internet and TV package. Like all totaled, it's been. Uh, mind you, a few years ago, I can remember when this package was like $170 a month. And for the last couple of years, it's been okay. They like kept it at 200 And then this year, uh, you know, out of, out of the blue, they're like, it's going to be about $215 now. And this is everything. You got the, you got the internet, you got. I'm assuming, like, you, you got, you got like a little phone. Sometimes, so sometimes what they'll do, they did this to my mom for a little while. They, they basically, she's trying to get her her, her uh, package down uh, in, through Comcast, and basically the rep was like, "Look, can we send you a phone?" <laughs> and she was like, "Why?" And like, if we, if we could just send you a phone, then your then your costs will go down. It was like if you just had a landline, the like the landline package brought her existing framework down for a landline that mostly is. She keeps it plugged in. I don't know why. All it gets is spam calls or like one or two people in her family that still use that number despite everyone else switching to her cell phone number. But so you don't anything like that. This is just you've got you're, you're cooking with the home Internet and the and the cable pack. Is it like a basic cable? We've got like the, the NFL network in there as well, like an expanded sports it's package. It's pretty basic cable. Like it's not the it's not the most basic cable package they offer, but uh, it is not the like luxurious. Here's all the sports. Like uh, I don't have NFL Network, for instance. I don't have mm-hmm. like the the uh, like league TV networks. I don't have. I don't have all the. Um, I have like ESPN, ESPN two, but for instance, like uh, I think Fox Sports also has like auxiliary channels. I don't have those. Uh, so, so stuff like that. It's it. I don't have um, like Turner Classic Movies is not part of this package. So, like, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that that doesn't uh, make it in. 
So it's not it's not an amazing package. And the other thing What's is What's your up down? What's your up down? What's the up down on the internet? Now granted we should be clear we're not <laughs> Rob is probably in the same situation that I am in in which yes, if you were to look it up, there are different places that will provide you internet. Unfortunately, Comcast is still like your best option because they are mon- they are the monopoly in the area. Yeah, uh the the up down is like it's like it, well, the, the the speeds I actually see are closer to like eight hundred down, uh, nine nine hundred down. But it's but it's supposed to be like gig internet, and then forty mm-hmm. up. Um, okay. And the forty up's pretty pretty reliable as far as I can tell. Um, that that number doesn't uh, wiggle around as much as the down number uh, seems to. But the but yes, to your point. I can't really get away from Comcast. Comcast services mm-hmm. my building. Uh, that is the option. There is no there is no world where I'm... And this is the problem, right? I can't even really plausibly be like... Pretending that I'll be like, well, I got this offer for DSL internet. And uh, that seems just you as can. good. So I, <laughs> no. can't, I can't even bluff to that degree. Where like I, I, I drop into a like... Uh, oh, I don't know much about computers and all this internet stuff. But this says uh, this DSL is uh, is uh, high. They say I can watch broadband. Netflix on it. I'll be yeah, fine, right? I can watch my that's Netflix. Uh, yeah, I, well, they, I, 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 I believe I, sh- <laughs> I believe I shared this story on the podcast ages ago. But when uh, my wife and I were like, you know what? We just found that we were only watching cable, cable uh for sports and for like the oscars and when uh, there had been a proliferation of apps to a degree that i could just use my mom's login to through comcast to like do that stuff it, like it was more of a pain in the butt because you're jumping through different hoops in order to watch individual broadcasts but it was it, it was gonna you know it was gonna save us 100 bucks a month and i thought in my head i was like well if they offer like i don't know if they if they cut it down by like fifty bucks, like I'll probably just eat it and just it'll be nice to have the box and and the convenience part. And when I called, they were just like, "Great, uh, yeah, you can just drop that. You can you, we don't you don't have to have the cable anymore." And what I realized over time was it's because they're just going to slowly increase the price of the internet part of it, uh, knowing that I have no other option but to keep paying for it. And they were just going to claw back their cable money <laughs> from me another way, which is what's happened over the three years since mm. I've since I bought it or since I dropped it. Um, so yeah, so the the I so the reason they do tell you like we notified you of the of the rate hike, but I didn't like I don't actually read my paper statements uh, that often. Uh, but this time I, I was I was checking my bank account and I was like that number isn't what it is every month and I and I check like I immediately went to Comcast and was like what are you doing you bastards <laughs> and so it's all the TV the internet didn't move it's all TV fees mm. uh, it is like just the num like the the base uh, cost of the TV package like increased by a few bucks and then there's this shit that you gotta that you just keep uh, you paying through the fucking nose for is this fucking bullshit uh like yeah on there's a 27 dollar broadcast tv fee on my fucking bill uh so this is i ran it so when i so when rob i i i I went through this era of like the i got tired of (laughs) looking at spyware sites in order to watch football games was like okay i'm just I'm a big boy. I'm gonna find some digital TV package to go through, and we'll, and we'll walk through those because we should we should do an, a, a sort of a complete examination of of your options. But um, I thought, well, maybe I can just add like a basic cable package that gets me Fox, CBS, NBC, and that'll cover a lot of the football games, and I'll fill in the gaps myself with my my shady necromancer internet dealings and. What I found, like, so I went on the Comcast website, and I was like, "Let's add a ba- let's add a basic package." Like, do you want more? I was like, "No, I just give me the stuff that in- technically I could do with an antenna." And let's, I want to pay like, and they're like, 20 bucks. You're good." Like, and I was like, "20 bucks? Like, that's way cheaper than YouTube TV or Hulu Live TV." Like, that's fine. 
Well, I added the 20 bucks and I was like, here's your, here's what your new bill looks like. And I was like, why are there $45 in charges on top of the $20? And it was all this bullshit you're talking about. I was like, they advertise it as like a cheap package, like just those basic can- channels. Like that's all you're getting, buddy. And then it's like, no, like the fees on top of it turn it into like a 50 to $60 oh. package, which then puts it in line with YouTube TV and well, Hulu and all the others. And that's just... That's across the, the entire fucking economy, right? It's the, it's the same thing with like uh I like like the Ticketmaster thing of like here's what here's what seats cost at this game or at this at this show, and you're like that seems okay, and they're like by the way though, there's fees that are equal to the value of the ticket you're buying, uh that that you're gonna pay, <laughs> uh so it's 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 stuff like that uh that that drives me up a wall, but yeah, uh so all this stuff like. It's you know you you tally it up. It's it's a lot of money going into TV and and here's the other thing, cable looks like shit. It's so hideous, and like it was survivable on a smaller TV, but the thing I the the thing I did not foresee that the that the giant OLED would do was that it would render sports almost excruciating to watch in places. Uh, it's mm-hmm. to the point mm-hmm. that MK doesn't like it uh like and, and mk doesn't really give a shit about hi-fi stuff uh that much <laughs> at all like that is entirely coming from me but the other day we're watching uh the vikings giants game and she's like i can barely see the players there's so much ghosting and it was true the there was so much artifacting around their outlines between them and the the, the green like turf that it was like each player was being accompanied by a flock of wraiths around the field. <laughs> uh, so it was like there's a there's a phantom football game happening like superimposed above the actual game. Uh it just was like unbelievably tough to see. And so Where was that, that being like, broadcast? That was well it was being broadcast uh from That was on like, Fox Minnesota because uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah! It was coming. It was coming over uh, like Fox's stuff because when I watched it on YouTube TV, they kept advertising me. Do you want to watch this in 4K? And you basically can't watch most like major sports in 4K, but like NBC has a couple, and so like mm-hmm. clicked over and was able to add. Like, there's a lot of fine print. It's like, like oh, you get like a, th- a three week trial, and then a, a one month promotional period, and uh, <laughs> then it's like ten bucks a month. And I was like, okay. But like what you're saying is if I click this button right now, I can watch this game in 4K for the next two and a half hours and then cancel it. So basically, yes. So I did. And it looked pretty nice. Of course, the, then the wild thing was that broadcast finishes. I'm like, well, well, what else can I watch in 4K? Nothing. Like YouTube is just <laughs> charging $10 a month to suckers to watch nothing. It's like, do you want to watch Bassmaster docu- like, like, like on-demand yeah. reruns? You could do that for $10 a month in 4K. There is nothing gonna to watch. It is just... <laughs> going to see all the scales on those fish. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll probably scales. watch one because I bet, I bet it was gorgeous. Bit. Yeah, I, get it. I, I will watch a little bit until that, uh, you know... I'll say. <laughs> Actually, my reminders app. I have a, already have an alarm set to make sure I <laughs> cancel that shit. But uh, wait, uh, there's. I mean, it's just a. It's just a. You, you, there's just nothing to watch. Um, Patrick, you reminded uh, me. This is yes. unrelated to anything we're talking about. But I have a reminder in my Please. phone that I keep ta- that I keep seeing that I keep forgetting uh, that I was supposed to ask you like three months ago about. Uh, oh, ask Patrick whether or not he moved this year. Did the search in the garage thing. So I think that was Siri not understanding what I was telling it to remind me. But does any of that ring a bell? <laughs> search in the garage? Sir, it says search like S uh, C E R T in all caps. I I think oh, that's... C R T in the garage. I I did have uh, oh. a, a C R T arcade that was uh, made by a buddy of mine that was malfunctioning, and I I tried multiple avenues to find uh a home for it and then it was put to the curb uh unfortunately oh, you threw it out um, damn yeah all right i tried i tried i tried i i had people who asked people who they might want it and it was just it's extremely heavy it was out of the way crts are it, a prime commodity seemed... though they're, they're running out they're limited <laughs> well i hope that it went it probably didn't i'm sure it was picked up by the people that 
go around and just pick up the valuable looking trash. Um, <laughs> oh wait, so you think it might not have about? gone into the trash itself? No, or... it definitely didn't go in the trash. Like it oh, went okay. out and was gone ninety minutes later. Like oh, okay. you know, it's like folks, folks that go around and I presume sell the CRT. Like I, I think it was. So now it's it going to live in somebody like, else's crushed. garage for like yeah. Years hopefully, before. hopefully it got fixed. That's all. <laughs> that's all I was hoping for was that it got fixed and. Uh, it didn't really fit in our house anymore, and uh, my garage is not in a state to. I would like an arcade in my house, but I just don't really have the, the space for it. Um, oh, I'm glad. I'm glad I can now delete that reminder off my phone. Yeah, go for it. You're good, <laughs> uh, Kata. You are released from this uh, the prison of. I I have to imagine that's what that's what it, what it was. It must um, be right. Yeah, C R T C E R T. Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah, so, sorry, <laughs> space. I go and goblin load on a trash C R T. Look. One of my favorite memories of a, as a child, well, young adult, teenager, is you. If you ever smashed, a, if of course now it feels bad now because they're they're like going extinct. <laughs> right. But back when they were everywhere, smashing a CRT, like the big like bubbly oh, one yeah. with a baseball bat. Mm. Oh my fucking god! It's one of those <laughs> satisfying things to do in the world. So. We so here's the other thing that I'm curious about though, gang. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, My mm-hmm. understanding is you can do whatever you want. Comcast is going to get their money out of you. Like mm-hmm. the minute I'm like, I don't want this fucking bundle anymore. They're mm-hmm. gonna be like, congratulations, your internet is a hundred ninety dollars a month now. Like that's yes. basically the Trash. the world I live in. I did manage to dodge. So I when I when we were doing we started doing streaming again, I needed to get my upload better and it was capped at 10 and i wanted to get it to 20 and the cheapest way to do that the one that like didn't fundamentally change my bill like went up by like a couple of dollars was they sent me one of their routers and that got me i didn't have to pay an additional fee for unlimited data uh but i had to take the router and they had to detect it like that it was connected and like turned on because I had them send it to me, and I was like, yep, well, that's going in the closet. Like, thanks for the bundle. Like, going back to using – because I use my own, you know, modem, my own router. Like, I got rid of that stuff yeah. ages ago to get rid of those line items on, on your bill to try and uh, save a couple of dollars. Plus, the equipment's just better that you can buy personally. And, like, it was connected for about two weeks. We were out of town. I was on vacation, and all of, I get notifications of all my devices going dead. It's like, well, that's weird. So I emailed, texted my neighbor. I was like, do we have an outage going on? And then I logged into my Comcast account. I was like, hardware not detected. Your internet's just been, we're just turning it off. And I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was it's it's connected back here next to my actual modem and router. But I've just disabled it doing anything. So like, it exists. It's turned on. It's phoning home. So that I can get that discount and that uh, sweet, sweet unlimited data. Um, so that my bill is, I think my bill is 114. Um, but I have to have that little doohickey. It's not little, it's a big doohickey. It's a little yeah. tower thing um, radioing home, but it doesn't do anything. It's just taking up a minor amount of electricity <laughs> bandwidth in my home. Spectacular. Why do all the articles about Comcast rates? specifically cite Taunton, Massachusetts. That seems very odd. Hmm. Are you being, are you being, is it, is this location based search bullshit going on? I don't on? think so. This is like, I think this is just like USA Today's article about it. I wonder if some watchdog group sent out this info and like Taunton is just the, uh, the, this the is one of those emails. They use as, as a citation. This is one of those emails you get where it's like, yeah. new study shown yeah. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> Meme <laughs> shirt. Why are all these hot singles in my area? <laughs> <laughs> Why are all these hot singles in my area? Oh, it's a J uh, J two she thirty one. I had lightning strike my house recently, and I'm half convinced it's at my personal modem. But Comcast didn't know that, and they still could have helped me. No, that very well may have happened. So the there was uh he's, uh, like four years ago. There was lightning, not like in my backyard, but reasonably close by, and it um, 
the best we like it zapped my modem and my router that I had purchased because yeah. I think this is the way it works. The science of this is like it traveled through the cable, the aux cable. And um, even though all my stuff's grounded, it can still travel through that cable and it zapped the equipment. I believe that was the explanation I landed on um, as for why that all went out during a storm and I had to then go spend several hundred dollars replacing it. Well, th- like this is why some of your like uh, heavier duty uh, like upses and such will have like run everything through that, right? Like the, yeah. the you know, mm-hmm. e- the Ethernet hooks up through there. Um, to try and avoid that, that, that specific issue. Right. Right. It's it's try to make sure that when those freak things occur, uh, you don't get hit. So anyway. Wow. J2C uh, grounding. Is that, is that, is... Go ahead. I was going to say grounding only protects you from getting zapped if you happen to be touching the object. That's what grounding does, but it doesn't protect yeah. the object itself. So I mean, the object like itself is going to get fried. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. sorry, I, I meant a surge. I meant I meant a surge uh, protector, but they, that doesn't protect uh, okay. it from that. The, the the lightning, if it is if it is close enough by and hits the ground, like it's it can travel go, through those cables. So, yeah. Like J two G thirty one said, they, their PS five got fucked by it too, um, which, is, <laughs> which is wild. The, anyway, continue. Rob. I'm I'm a little bit lucky, like because uh, I don't really have to worry about that too much because there are uh, there's a smokestack nearby with a giant lightning rod on it that uh, tends nice. to draw off most lightning strikes. Uh, it does mean it's pretty spectacular uh, when when it hits though, because uh, it's like <laughs> it means like 20 feet away a lightning bolt just like nails uh, a lightning rod that's like right right across from my window, and so it can be pretty terrifying sometimes when you get a big one uh it's like the apartment's been hit with a death ray uh okay so i guess we'll just see like what happens because my dread is that yeah like i'm gonna be like i'm i don't want i don't want tv anymore from comcast and they'll just be like congratulations our internet's 200 dollars a month fuck you Mm. uh but here's the other question what should i if i'm if i'm cutting the cord in that way, because because I when my parents were visiting, we used their YouTube TV uh, account to watch some games, and I was like, "That's what oh, I have." Oh, that's a yeah. bit rate. Look yes, at that! Nice. I can read. I can read players' names on their on their jerseys. Uh, it was it was a revelation, and so my my suspicion was just like YouTube TV is probably going to be the, the most sensible option, right? There are. So I went down this rabbit hole. Um, there are a couple of different options. There is FUBU TV, which has that. May, that if you want to start at the cheapest option, FUBU is where we're going. Um, not FUBU. Is it FUBU? FUBU? Is it FUBU? I don't think. I, I think. I think. Sling TV. Sling, it. Sling TV. Sling TV. FUBU is something else. Fubu. Sling TV. There is. Fubo? I'm thinking of two. I'm thinking of two. Are you thinking Fubo? of, thinking of two. Fubo? I'm thinking FUBO. 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 Fujiyoshi TV. And Fubo's a thing, right? Fubo's a thing. Fubo's a thing. But Fubo. S- wait. Sling TV. F-U-B-O. Sling TV is what I'm thinking of. F U B O. Yeah. And we could look at Fubo. I didn't sign up for this, but um, right. I think sli- I think Sling TV. Which which one did I start with? Let's look. Is an American streaming television service serving customers in the United States, Canada, and Spain. It's a weird spread there. Um. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to look at 299 channels available. What's it? So Sling TV is where I started. I looked at Fubo TV, um, and I st- but I started with Sling TV was the actual. <laughs> Shout outs to the the the, the specific Latino tier. <laughs> what is that? What? It's just cheaper because it's I just all those Spanish Spanish language, ch- Spanish language channels. <laughs> Well, that's that's called inclusivity. Yeah, of, that <laughs> is it's called. Um, yeah, look at that. You, I mean, you're only getting 48 channels, right? But hey, I mean, fucking Telemundo is the best place to watch football, anyways. Foot f o o f u t b o l. Fubo ball. Fubo Fubo ball. Fubo Fubo ball. Fubo. Um, um somebody uh learn, <laughs> Cyber Green... Devin learn Spanish to save money. Is yeah, that the 100%. solution here? 100 percent Just be bilingual. That's that's how this works. Mm, yeah. Uh, 
Greenberg says Sling, YouTube TV, Fubo, Hulu, plus Live TV are your real options. That that is correct. That is those are the ones that I went across. I looked yeah. at Fubo, and the reason I went with Sling first was because they have a good or did might have been the ho- it might be over because of the holidays, but um, they had a good like first time sign up um, option. Yeah. It was like half off for the first month, so it was like twenty dollars. Is that supposed to be a straight can... through on the forty there? Yeah. Uh, yeah oh, okay. So I don't have. Real. It's I don't have visible. this here on. It's not. This isn't here on mine. I'm not oh, logged yeah. in. And I don't. Mine is just forty dollars a month, fifty five dollars a month. Now I did sign up huh. for it before, but I'm not signed in at the moment. So well, Rob is getting a promo offer. Cookies, cookies. Those don't. You don't have to cookie, log yeah, in to have a cookie true. in there. They know you've been that's here. True. They know you've been to that's this true. website. They know who you <laughs> are. Yeah. These sickos I know you're know trying to I've watch TV, ex- Patrick. <laughs> I've already, expo- I've already exploited the the one month uh, half off. So, so the problem I ran into here, uh, one was they did not include, and I don't know how if this was just my region or other regions, but they did not have NBC Sports Chicago which is where all the Bulls games are played. And so part of the reason I signed up was to watch football games easy and to watch the Bulls games easy. And a primer, I did not discover this until after the fact. Wait, I just assumed it would happen. NBC? Like, is different than NBC Sports. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so NBC is what like... The local. You, you, know, mean, you mean the one that they blast through the airwaves for free? No. I've tried the antennas. No, these are this. I think this is no NBC. And that is NBC. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. different sports than NBC Chicago Sports. Chicago is like NBC it's sport, like wait, Nesson there's a, in Boston. There's a specific okay. sports channel for the the the, the city. Yes, Chicago. Oh, most yes. major cities have a t- have a cable TV channel that is like got deals with a few like regional sports teams. Okay, and they broadcast a ton of like so like uh yeah. So what was the channel for years, Patrick, in Chicago? Um. Like sports, not well, WGN, or... right? Like that would yeah, be, WGN but that's that was that was a, was that was that, that was already so, ante- was it WGN over the antenna? I don't the, know. The yeah, local the local NBC NBC channel won't be won't show those games and stuff. Like the local no. whatever. They're two different. No. They're two different stations, effectively. Ah. Two different uh, stations. That's like NBC. Yes. Yeah. This is yeah. They're they're is, different. I I watch I watch the Super Bowl through antenna because that's the only TV <laughs> I ever watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so I did that get, and it, I, that up, was, but... I did, I tried, now I only tried one of them, and I, but I tried whatever, like, you know, it was one of the, <coughs> excuse me, like highly recommended antennas uh, uh, on, you know, I just bought like on Amazon and, you know, like, you know, you put it up on your window, right? And like, I connected that to my TV, work like dog shit. We would spend half the time like walking around, like, Try, like it, it didn't matter if it was sunny, didn't matter if it was cloudy. Like where our house is and where the, the 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 however the signal is coming in, I it it didn't it was unworkable. And maybe maybe it was just that antenna. Like it's possible if it, had I gone down a deeper rabbit hole in that, I could have I could have solved that. But it wouldn't solve the regional sports quandary because part of what's happened, Kato, is like for example, like the Cubs spun off from being broadcast anywhere other than on what is called the Marquee Sports Network. So that is its own regional add-on. NBC Sports Chicago has a deal with the Chicago Bulls. I think Marquee also maybe in, involves the, the Blackhawks. I don't know. Like, But it gets confusing and spooky. And not these services will advertise, like, hey, we have NBC. And that's what I looked at and just assumed, great, mm-hmm. I'll be able to watch the Bulls. And then I logged in. It was like, but we definitely don't carry NBC Sports Chicago. And I was like, well, then... Your service is not what I signed up for, <laughs> but I just paid twenty dollars, and uh, I I will get some spyware to watch the Bulls. Yeah, that's that's the oh. real thing. It's paying the paying the spyware tax, <laughs> searching for certain uh, phrases on game mm-hmm. day. To yes, find a yeah, link. To, uh, commu- <laughs> communing with the, communing with the dark web in order to watch <laughs> the Cubs play poorly. Um, is it is it piracy if you're watching a bad team play poorly? Does that even <laughs> count? Does that even amount to piracy? Yeah. Is Comcast fighting me? No, here we go. Uh, Kato, I just need to pull this up. Uh, what is so this? Nessun has a 
a food show. That's our regional uh our sport that's our regional sports channel. Uh-huh. Uh they carry all, carry all the Celtics games, but they also have a food show, uh Dining Playbook, uh where two hosts visit uh like local restaurants and review them. Um and sometimes hang out with like Boston like sports personalities <laughs> and talk about their favorite meals. I can't, um I can't hear this by the way. Is this is this supposed to be hearable? Oh, you can't hear this. No, I don't. I don't. Can the no, maybe the audience strange. can hear it? Um, hold on, let me double check. This that. happened last I'm not, time. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting any. Something. I'm not getting any mm. audio at all. Hold oh on. no, and I don't have. Audience cannot. That's so weird. And the audio output select thing is not here, Kato. Weird. That's really weird and annoying. Strange. Okay. This is. This is Comcast. Well, they'll, is, they'll just have they to. Heard, they heard. <laughs> yeah. they don't want people to We're know. getting hacked. All right. So, well, so what's well, the, like, hey, I learned the hard way one time when maybe I, maybe I, you know, I've been cleared of the charges. Uh huh. Procured uh, procured a, a, a movie through the internet through uh, means and then got a pop up notification through my internet saying, "Hey, we got a we got a notification from." Warner Brothers, don't do that again. <laughs> hey, like, don't you can do, do that. that? <laughs> you can just send a message through my internet. Yeah, I don't like that. Panthera shit at Anka all. got a VPN. Damn. That stuff. I, look, I have a free promo code for a year of VPN. I just haven't redeemed it because we did a promo for them on Waypoint Radio one time. I know. I gotta figure <laughs> out VPN. <laughs> There's nothing to figure out. You just like sign up for a VPN. You click around the vpn boom i know but i just i don't have that many times that i need to use it man i look i got a plex server and like i got a guy i don't normally need to worry about <laughs> yeah so that's the i don't got a guy so i have to i got a guy with a knife between my teeth being like i need <laughs> i need my media and by i mean and by i got a guy i mean capitalism of course i love to spend money yes. on the things that i enjoy exchanging um, money for goods and services <laughs> if the feds are listening if are if the feds are part of the 526 people watching i love capitalism <laughs> so is there any like difference in terms of uh like picture quality it's gonna be the same shit basically They're i uh stuff. i did not notice uh, a huge difference between uh between sling tv and youtube tv the other problem i had with sling i don't know how the specific this is ooh, to sling ooh, ooh. this does happen yeah click that go one. ahead oh bit rates and Which stuff one? um the, the the cnet one it looks like it's got a table well, I'm sure there's lots of information in that table robot? i don't know uh, oh, that's, that's got a human by one <laughs> Oh, yo, that's true. In in the middle of me signing up for Sling TV, uh, they got into a fight with ESPN. And so, like, again, I signed up broadly to watch sports and or my wife to watch the red carpet for an award show. And then two weeks in a row, I couldn't watch Monday Night Football, which broadcasts on ESPN. And it was I almost called customer service to complain, but I was like, I know it's only twenty dollars a month, but this is what I signed up for was to do yeah. this, and then yeah. for two weeks yeah, of the month, I, I could, and I wondered, is that because they're a smaller, you know, like I feel like Directv is always getting in those fights. It's like is, and so that put me off Sling. Other than the fact that they didn't have NBC, NBC Sports Chicago, was if I'm gonna have to constantly play whack a mole with them getting into uh, payment fights right. with the, the bigger networks, maybe. Hulu, which is, you know, Hulu, here's the thing, Rob, like Hulu owns, a, uh, Comcast owns a giant stake in Hulu. So it's almost like you're just running, you're just giving Comcast money twice. a different way. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. 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 Um, Fucking hell. <laughs> and so uh, Hulu, I have to look at the prices, but like Hulu and YouTube are essentially roughly the same price you can get the price down if you start getting into the bundling stuff right like if you i i share a hulu account so i don't need hulu um i already paid for a year of disney plus a little while ago so i can't use that as a bundle uh chip so that made hulu's live tv prices start to go up for me and youtube's ended up making 
the most sense. Plus, they give you a discount for like three months. Um, and right. Now I'm probably just in it to win it. So yeah, there's a seventy bucks a month. Um, but that's again like you get. Well, it's the like Disney Plus with ads. ESPN Plus with ads, Hulu Plus with ads, because we want to get rid of those ads, that bundle then becomes a Comcast bundle at, you know, a hundred something dollars a month. Seventy dollars with ads? Well, for those additional services, right? You're basically yeah. paying I think of it this like think of it like you're paying for cable and then those are other channels that like you you know, because those channels would have ads if you were like adding a uh, so this is just Disney Network. This is just Comcast laughing at mm-hmm. me. Yeah. This is yes. just this is just like our other the other facet of the companies you, you interact with charge you money for this. This facet will not. Yes. No broadcast TV fee here. No regional sports fee. Do you hate the regional $70. sports fee? Dollars. Well, what's funny is that it's uh, ads on Hulu content, which always sucks. But even their like, uh, ad-free it, version is weird. Well, th- I think this is promotional. Like, I think I would – I'll still have my ad-free Hulu, of course. Oh, shit. You get to watch Viceland or Vice or whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Viceland? <laughs> Viceland. Uh, no, I think that's where I'm going for a vacation this year. Vi- uh, Viceland? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a, I think actually part of the, the new campaign in Fire Emblem, the, the Viceland saga, as George Bailey in the chat points out. Um <laughs> Okay, so they are I... so they're talking about seventy bucks, YouTube TV mm-hmm. has Sling. Do you ha do you have Hulu Disney plus like are those compelling teases for you as Things to have even with ads. I mean, I know you watched Andor, but no, did you just sign I, up I will for not it watch to them with ads. cancel it? Right. Yeah, just like I've got. I did the bundle thing for a minute, and I hated it because of the ads. Um, mm-hmm. So it's just easier to. So yeah, now I just pay. Then I just give money to everybody. Um, Are you paying monthly? Oh, yes. or you're paying yearly. Monthly. <sighs> just got. You just got to suck it up and pay yearly and save twenty dollars. <laughs> But sometimes I cancel. Ah. So, Rob, when's the last time you did this? Sometimes I cancel. Let's be I honest. Canceled, be in our heart I of hearts, Netflix for about like uh, eight months. Okay. And wow. I'm about to cancel okay. it again. Like once Drive to Survive is is over, buy Netflix. Netflix, you can't pay yearly though. I don't think. Right. Netflix, you have to do monthly. I believe that's. I'm pretty correct. sure that's yeah, right. They suck. Anyway, the point is okay. So. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, this doesn't seem like... But, you know, how many channels do you really watch? That's the other thing. Pull up YouTube yeah. TV as well. You need, you need to do the triple comparison at this point. Like, these are... This is really what we're looking at here. Here, here. CNET has done this for you. Scroll down. Ah. Okay, the, other, the other down. Yeah, that down. <laughs> yes. But they're not comparing... But but they're leaving uh, Hulu out of this. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Locals included? No. So that's, you know, that's... A, I really like watching, like, the local TV news, like, at night. That's, like, what I put on uh, when the kids get home. And I can hear the conservative slant of my local TV news <laughs> telling me how bad Chicago <laughs> Yeah, like, like just, just them covering, like, random street crimes. There's a... I, 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 you, you'll see, like... I, I, I'm not listening to it to be informed. It's just, like, a nice white noise. I do like it. Like, I, I, like I, I'm fully admitting how, like... <laughs> <laughs> shitty it is but look i also pay for the daily herald with like an also conservative midwest newspaper but sometimes i want to know about the restaurants opening up in my area rob and so i pay for it sure <laughs> white noise very white noise indeed that's good mm-hmm, mm-hmm. very good chat oh look this is just free look tv's free oh S- scorpion this is just tv yeah, look at guys, that. Guys, this is gonna this is guys, this is gonna get paused then. <laughs> Hold on, go go back go back and click on Star Trek. There's Star Trek down there. Oh wait, is there? Yeah, look at that. Deep Space Nine. This is What? 
This is Deep Space it's Nine a... channel. What is the hey, crow? What is this? This, is this, is a... this is TV. This is cable. Yeah. Oh well, uh, well, Rob, you didn't say you wanted to get the channel funny as fuck uh, because you can get that here at Pluto TV. <laughs> Wait, wait, sorry, I have to go back. Where go back to featured? Was it featured? Go to featured. Funny AF. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh... <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. I'm glad we can hear this. Gonna... <laughs> Is Pluto TV one of those websites that's like they just syndicate things and put ads on it? Yeah, I think which is so. uh, kind of what like Tubi does that, right? Where um, gaming and anime, gaming and anime. Look, hey, you know the rules, Kato. You can't click on that. <laughs> oh, the gamer channel. What's on anime? Captain Tsubasa. Look, this is an IGN channel where they're just they're just syndicating their. Yeah, this is just them syndicating a bunch of. Hell archive. yes. Wait, we remember Captain Tsubasa. Hell yes. Remember? Wait, Captain Tsubasa. Captain Tsubasa. Yeah. Fucking the hold soccer on. Game was that there... Austin was into. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Was there a was there a I've Minecraft TV? Did we scroll by a Minecraft TV? Was that just me and my kids? Yep, no, yeah, yeah, Minecraft TV. Did you click it? We have to click we we are it's it keeps snapping me back to this. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Hey, try, to, try, to, try, to hop, try to hop. Try to hop. Okay, there we there go. We go. <laughs> Minecraft TV. Is this just a let's play? Yeah. I mean, this what? Is this, is this just someone's play. stream? Mm -hmm. Who is this? this no, is this, this person is live on Twitch? What is happening? I mean, is an, I'm sure this is an archive. It's just a licensed archive. Oh, my God. Oh shit, Common oh, hey, Rider. Patrick, there's something for you. Wait, sorry. There's a whole to yeah? Tokushotsu. There's a whole fucking Yeah, right there. Common Rider. Hell mean? yeah. Well that's 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 Shout Factory, which is one of the great uh archivists of of uh the movie and T V shows. They put a lot of good yes! discs out and they have they have a channel. I have this on my Apple TV. They have they have a couple of them. One of them is they have like a bunch of strange they have this, uh they have one that is just like the Carol Burnett <laughs> show on loop. 24 7 what? they have another literally one. the carol burnett show <laughs> yeah 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 um wait i'm and sorry you can, this what is all just free that you you can just is get a, this is that, was that a, what kind of sorry. sniper rifle do you see the size of the do you see the size of this gun <laughs> yeah he's gonna kill the motorcycle man with yeah 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 this is so the you thing can just about get this on your shows. on your devices oh um, shit colombo got the op <laughs> Wow! It, some shit's about to go down. I think it is. Oh, she just found out <laughs> about the enigmatic. <laughs> That's an anti-material rifle. That tracks. Yeah. There's a Beverly this Hills is Billy like, channel. This is <sighs> like uh, cable access XCOM. Is the is the vibe? <laughs> I'm, I'm right, but these, this is just this. an app, Rob. It. If you want this, if you want this life, it's just an app on any on number a, of your any devices. TV. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? It's more fun just to like be here. Mm hmm. Rob, right, what's happened in the local news? You know, my favorite. Uh, oh, wow. what have uh, the police well, gotten up to now? We got Baltimore, Boston, all Chicago, the local Colorado. News. We got all oh, of it. Oh, you can just yeah. tap into all. Actually, that's kind of that's kind of sick. I want to watch like the 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 Denver lo the Miami local news. This is change <laughs> no, up my morning and evening I dynamics. Can... Yeah, click up, click on Miami. Click it. Click it. Give me Minnesota. I would love to watch the Minnesota local news. Minnesota. They'll be right back. Damn it. This is awesome. Okay. <laughs> Pluto TV going on the Apple TV. So More Pluto like TV, it. Pluto TV is CBS. Right? That's Paramount, right? CBS? They're all yeah, the same thing. Right. Basically. Oh, so these are all going to be the lo the CBS affiliates for yes, yes. Um, Which so this kind of makes see. sense. They have all these deals where it's like we're a right. broadcast we're a broadcast network. What we do is we broadcast for free and put ads in, and sell ads in between things. Well, this is like Westworld. You know, one of the big prestige HBO shows, although it really tanked uh, post season season one. Um, one really and. Yeah. They season two is okay, but it's not yeah. as good as season one. Um, but it, it um they just pulled that from HBO 
because they're going to put it on one of these types of services um, huh. where it just exists as a channel with <gasps> ads dynamically and stuff. Yes! Iron Chef! Yes! So, okay, so <laughs> I, I'm figuring this out. So Pluto TV is if you just want the experience of watching TV in a hotel room. Right. Uh, yeah. Pluto TV's got you covered. Oh, I wish I Which could hear kind of, this so I, bad. Frankly, God damn it! <laughs> I I miss it sometimes, Rob. Like I like just kind of flipping through weird channels and having stuff show up. I, um, I fucking love Iron Chef. Oh, the king, the fucking king. God, I like cuisine. Show. This fucking show. Potato. Although I was always, <laughs> I was always a uh, Sakai guy. To be to be honest, but like <laughs> mad respect for Morimoto. Morimoto's the goat. Morimoto's the goat. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, Solid okay, points so... out that Plex has pretty much all of these channels built into it now. That's huh. interesting. I didn't realize had Plex had. I, I yeah, thought Plex like... was for piracy. <laughs> No, 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 Plex, no, no. Plex is for yeah. legitimately doing like ripping uh-huh. your own content and putting yeah. your own server and then sharing it with your friends, you. <laughs> but not for commercial purposes. Uh, Iron Chef, I think, was the first per- place I heard Japanese honorifics, I think. Like, just, I have, like, a sense memory of being, like, three or something. <laughs> and hearing that one guy go, Fukui-san! Because he's, like, calling up from the from the chef's tables. Yeah. Uh, to Colonel 91, <laughs> Plex, perfectly legal entertainment experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. People are saying that the Peacock has the archive of Iron Chefs. There's... See, all these things are so bad at surfacing their treasures, right? Like, you know I what's had amazing? no idea... What? Uh, that Iron Chef got began began as like a local thing in fucking oh god I have to remember what it's some mid some Midwest random Midwest city as a quote unquote surface to their Japanese community, and they just played it un un ed, like un undubbed or anything in Japanese language, and somehow that caught on enough for them to like do the full translation thing and put it on food network and like <clears throat> but it all started just because some someone was like hey no i mean i mean in the u.s it being brought across this uh, brought across to the to the americas happened because one 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 specific tiny town was like we're gonna put this on at like 1 a.m <laughs> in our on right. our local channel <laughs> Okay, so I love this. Uh, JLC992, Peacock Free is honestly wild and how awesome it is. It's only free if you're already subscribed to Comcast. As a cable user, it's like, it's it's the Wait. same guy. Really? It's the same guy. Yeah, they yes. own NBC, NBC Universal. Like, it's all, it all, comes, it all comes back. It all comes back. But it is awesome. Like, Peacock. Oh, Peacock does have like, a free the, tier. No, Peacock has a free tier. Mm. I think it's for, people are saying that you free. can just go to do you, go go to it. Let us see. You're not logged into anything. No, you're right. They do have a partnership with Comcast, or they own. I don't. I the comp the the corporations confuse. Yeah. Uh, Sign up for free. No, that's promo. No, at the uh-uh. bottom. I want to see what it's like to peacock. You have to make an account. Do you want me to to, to, to click away <laughs> while you make an account? <laughs> oh, I already have oh, already... no, 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 you're, you're making a new account. You're making okay. You're, you're no, safe. Oh, it's you got to be safe. You make an account. Now. <laughs> make an account. Get out of we here. We need to know. I trust. I trust <laughs> the people in the chat. They're t- like, well, let's just look. I feel like we can search this peacock free tier. I just need to know how good it is. How good? How is okay, the flip? How is the flipping through here we it go. feel? I've got. Oh, here you go. Here's you click. Click this link. Although, don't pull up your Discord. Careful how you. Use I, I I've I've turned off the the screen. They can't see your screen okay. right now. Oh okay. Uh, I've got. I've got, these, I've got you. Oh, actually, hang on. I'm just going to copy this into the into the browser.
Okay. Uh, we can bring this up. Okay. Weep. Yeah. Is it really free? Yes. yes. Well, no, Seahawk is free. Or no, rather, well, there's a free or tier. Rather, there's a free tier, Peacock, which means you can watch some titles. I, <laughs> the opera word is some. So don't say, you can't say Peacock is free. The short answer is, because the short answer is no, but there's some but stuff. If you're on Comcast, if you're already subscribed to cable, you right. do get the ad version yeah. for free. And then for $5 a month, you get the premium version. And it's good. Okay, so you can't... You can watch The Office, Parks and Rec. You can't watch these super fan episodes with expanded scenes. And you can't... Oh, no, you can't watch Harry Potter. Like, what, is, what are you doing? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like Peacock's doing you a favor. I... Um... Is the free plan even worth it? Yeah, no. Doesn't sound. I awesome. watched that Magru- that MacGruber show. I heard that was good though. Nah, MacGruber. The show, not the, mm-hmm. the. They made a show out of it. I thought the two movies yeah. bombed. I can't believe. Then they made it. a show. One movie, one movie, and then a, and then a and then a show. Yeah, it, that kind of came and went. Oh man. What they won't let they won't right, let me watch the 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 horror movie they slash them. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, I heard that movie so... was not good. Although I heard the other, I heard that they did. Put, I, Peacock did just add a movie from Kevin Williamson, the, the screenwriter of uh, Scream, uh, called Sick, that is supposed to be good. They them is so it was, I didn't watch it because the, the 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 word on it was so bad. But it was like it was. Uh, uh, oh, who was who 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 was in that? Um, was uh, Kevin Bacon past. coming? Kevin Bacon coming full circle back to the genre that started his career because uh-huh. people will, will frequently forget he was in the first Friday the Thirteenth movie. Yeah, he gets a sweet ass steak sh- shoved through his neck while he's. he's oh, that's sex right. That scene. No, um, he's not. He's asleep. And, yeah, I just, I just yeah, watched it because yeah. it was Friday the Thirteenth last Friday. <laughs> yeah, great movie. That original is awesome. Um, and so it was like really neat that he was coming back to the genre that kickstarted his career and. Uh, yeah, I just heard that movie was god awful. Um, apparently, Peacock Free has Murder She Wrote and Columbo for free. Rob, what are you? What are you? What are you doing? What is? Who is? Who is the Velocipaster? Sorry, Peacock has been suggesting the Velocipaster to me for a little bit. <laughs> no, I lied. It used to. Oh well, rip. Rob, if I haven't seen this, then I think I think you're good. 2019. Okay, and we can't even hear these this audio music. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Close, close captions. Whoa. The point is, he's a what pastor is... who turns into a velociraptor, and then he's got a sexy lady that fights. Were those with him. ninjas? <laughs> okay. You know, sometimes I wonder. Could I get into screenwriting? And you think to yourself, no. And then you see stuff like this and go, but this maybe. This is basically first maybe. performed, but way more often. <laughs> the Velocipaster. I mean, this is trying yeah. to do camp, and it's... But it might it's, be missing. The camp is not usually achieved on purpose. Camp is arrived at through other means. Um, Garth Marenghi vibes. It's true. I do have a screenwriting credit. That is, that is, well, it's a story by credit. Um, I am on IMDb. You can find me there. Um, um, it's my one, my, uh, my, my one credit for Evil Bong Three. <laughs> Evil Bong the TV series. <laughs> no, yeah, no, they're still making those, but I don't, I don't get. Um, I, I have not been contacted by uh, Charles Band uh, on to uh, provide any feedback on the modern Evil Bong films. So, Spanish plan, okay. Probably not, but so if you get if you want, but here's the thing, Rob. Is the secret to get the Spanish plan and then put on English captions? A little bit cheat code, right? <laughs> uh, so I like you get you get you know everyone's saying just be bilingual. It's like what if not? What if <laughs> captions and I'm. <laughs> <sighs> 
This is a pretty good channel lineup, though, if I'm being honest. That's, a lot of, that's all their. That's all their base. Is this the is this the Latin uh, one or is this the? Oh, this, this is, is regular YouTube this is TV. The total. Boop. Yes, if you are just looking to watch some TV, YouTube TV has the best interface, the best price, and uh, it's very friend. Like when I went to Wisconsin, it was like very friendly about like, hey, you're over here now. Like it's cool. Right. right. We have to change your regional stuff, but we're not going to punish you for being there. I don't know how it, I. <laughs> I Turner, this was Classic much earlier movies. in the. Ch- um. This was much earlier in the chat, but someone mentioned they were they shared their account with their dad who lives in a different state. And the one thing that gets a little funky is they have to make sure and communicate when they're going to watch, right? Like the app because it will again. It doesn't. I don't know how excessive it's going to like throttle you if uh, you know if you're if you're sharing it that way. Um, but apparently they've made it work. It's just sometimes they'll log in and are you know are getting <laughs> regional channels from. Detroit or whatever, uh, wherever their 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 dad might be located. Man, there's nothing I want here in the Sports Plus add-on except Red Zone. Not relevant right now, of course, but no, the Red Zone I think is ten bucks a month, um, which is I didn't pay for that, but I was constantly tempted into doing it. Um, and then next year they will have the full NFL package, uh, the Sunday ticket, but that will still cost. Three hundred dollars for the season, um, yeah. But then you can watch everything. Uh, um, big boy, big. I, did, I, I used I, the burner I, email to make a free Peacock account. Zero bill on your credit card info. There's like twenty five free streaming channels, some decent stuff like Unsolved Mysteries and Premier League highlights. Pluto ooh. TV has way more selection for free though, mm. and without having to make an account, you just click onto that website. Go on, a, go on a trip. Go on a wild trip. RJ Lee, okay, is there so, a family plan for YouTube TV? Rob, could you and I get into a family plan and just just oh share this God. YouTube TV? Can we half this price? How's this? How would this work? How, what what kind of trouble are we getting into? I think because we're in different regions, I, it would like, be uh, sometimes a family can be two editors uh, at a website who've worked together for a long time. Look, cheesecake, cheesecake assassin. I'm sharing my YouTube TV with six people in four states. It works fine. I feel like it probably won't over a long period, though. I feel like the clamps will come any day now. Okay, so, Kato. Yeah. Can you keep a a little tally? Maybe put it up on the screen somewhere. Uh Uh-huh. This is going to cost $65 a month. Eventually. You get three months at 55 but everyone's saying, by the way, this has just been at like escalating upwards for a while. Yes, like, people have been using yes. YouTube TV for a while, or like in in our ch- in our chat, seem pretty fucking over it. In but all of, like, but all of them have Rob. Like Hulu TV also was way too, like there has just been an like as people they basically like it, it's also very expensive to run these services. Like I'm not trying to excuse, but like yeah. they were doing what all tech does is like hey. Would you like to watch live TV for twenty five dollars a month? <laughs> yeah, I would. That sounds great. And it was a false promise. Like they were all going this way, especially as the right. linear networks are increasingly need to cl- like hold on to that money, and they're finding it in places like this where they're getting people like you and me. It's like I'm canceling my cable to just spend roughly the same <laughs> amount of money on an cable. App. Yeah. Okay. So Patrick. That's this is all very nice. I like that. That's cool. That's yeah. that's fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, if I'm just taking all my TV viewing online to begin with, sure. Mm-hmm. How much does this change the monthly? Uh, the monthly cost. <sighs> if I, like, for instance, start buying things Ooh. like League Pass. So League Pass is actually one of the better 50, deals. What? Um, for the season, that's good. That's a good price. That's a, like, no. That's what that's I mean. Like a, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're you're not going to watch the Celtics, so you can watch the Bulls games just fine, right? Um, otherwise, you have to get into a VPN situation but to get around the, the regional lockouts. I'll watch the lockouts. Celtics, but I'll watch that on YouTube, right? That's because I'll have the right. You be yes, yes. You would get yes. yes. You would get you would get you would but get yes, the regional this stuff. This lets me watch the Bulls yeah. or yeah. Um, and you okay. don't need the premium because you're not watching it on two devices. You'd be, um, 
I love this. I love what's right below. Oh, this. It says commercial what can free. I watch? Based on your current location, you will be unable to watch live, live Celtics. Celtics. Uh, get it. <laughs> uh, if uh, Danny Vicky points out if if only Southern New Hampshire had regional sports teams, so that that I could be like, sorry, I don't want to watch the Merrimack Raptors uh, play. <laughs> I want to watch the Celtics through League Pass. <sighs> Uh, I mean, many people in the chat are asking why. Um, the answer to that is largely sports. Uh, I, the, the, the one of the last remaining reasons to pay for a a cable esque package is sports. And uh, if you like sports, like Rob and I really like a lot of different sports, you then find yourself jumping through. Look, man, I, do you want me to walk Rob how to hack a Fire Stick TV, which is like what most of my friends do? The ubiquity of the hacked Fire Stick TV following uh, video pr- uh, tutorials on TikTok so that Wait, those sorry, Fire what, Stick TVs... Why is that... What? What will they do? Do you want to wear this? Accomplishing. No, I was not aware of this. So Fire Stick, Fire Stick TVs are like some of the most hackable devices, and they're extremely cheap. And you can essentially... I don't have one, and this is not even me bullshitting. Like, but I, I've been to my friend's house that has them. Essentially, uh, like you can hook it up to all the sweet, sweet, shady websites and pull whatever you want down onto these hacked Fire Stick TVs. And so, do you want to watch all sports all the time, all cable all the time? We'll just follow a couple of TikToks, and uh, you can do it. Uh, and then NFL Red Zone is coming to YouTube, right? That's the Red. That's Sunday ticket. Red Zone's already there. That's ten bucks a month. Uh, sorry, yes, yeah, Sunday um, uh, And then, um, yes, uh, YouTube TV or uh, Sunday ticket is is next year. They haven't said which what it'll cost, but I believe it was three hundred bucks. <throat> that's what I paid for it when I was in San Francisco um, to watch the Bears games when they added it to like the PlayStation Three. I think it was the first time yeah. I paid for it. Right. That's I paid for that too. Um, it wasn't awesome back then. No, no, oh, that's it's not. right. What's uh? Probably don't care as much anymore. There was a time. There was a time I cared a lot about NHL Game Pass or Game Center or whatever. The rumor in baseball is that they're working to get rid of blackouts. Yeah, I've heard. Man, that that'd be too. nice because I I would rather pay for all baseball than the marquee network, which is what I get. What I have to pay for for um, the Cubs. Um, cause that doesn't even come through. So like, even though I pay for YouTube TV, none of, unless the Cubs are on a national broadcast, which they traded away all their good players. They're not right now. Right. Um, but I still like to have the Cubs on in the background for a while. I was just using my mom's Comcast login. And then she looked at her Comcast price and went, uh, <laughs> there was it made this very funny situation. She got it down to just the bare minimum. Like she is not paying for, she didn't even get ESPN. So she hosted a Christmas gathering, which is frequently where like a lot of people be on the couch, like idly drinking beers and like why one of the football games is on. And I had to Chrome, I had to cast my YouTube TV account to my mom's TV in order for us to watch the football game. Cause I do my mom could not get it on her cable package. It was delightful. ESPN plus. Hmm. I don't okay. pay for that. I know. Um, it's got, it's got NHL. Bundle? I don't. Um, yeah, yeah that, that is in the Hulu bundle. Um, oh wait, so this is basically, so ESPN Plus basically supplanted Game Center. I don't is know. That what happened? I, I can't answer that. Wait, why does that bundle say twelve ninety nine a month? What was the bundle you were looking that's at? Because that's got. The... No live TV. This is their ad supported. Oh no, live this, TV. I've done this bundle. It's not very good. Because it's a lot of ads, a lot of ads. Well, and you're wa- and it's and it's it's ads in shows that aren't edited to support. You know what I mean? Like it's one thing to watch a network television. I'm show. I'm not having an ad pop with- up in the middle of Andor. Well, that's what I. But you, Disney but like, Plus even, in a world ha- where- Disney Plus doesn't have ads. They do it's now. Just, it's just Hulu. Since when? Uh, like a month ago. No. Netflix has ads now too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Kato. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I. I. I I have that shit. I watched something on it yesterday and I didn't get any ads. The fuck? It's a different tier. You're paying to not have ads. Am I? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I have I've wanted to switch the Netflix with ads because Netflix is broadly something we use for the kids to watch and their kids stuff is exempt from the ads. So you can be at the ad tier, which drops you to like you know, only streaming on one device at seven twenty P, but like my kids don't give a shit if like <laughs> whatever Netflix kid show is on at seven twenty P on on the on the four K T V. But uh the Apple TV does not support the ad tier. So I switched it to ad tier, woke up one morning to show my kids a show, and it was like your account doesn't work. I was like, okay, I guess I'll go back to paying for the four K <laughs> twenty something wow. dollars a month or whatever I'm paying. Oh, uh, okay. So they they added an ad tier under the regular tier. Yeah. That's Yeah, that's okay. what everybody's doing. That's what everybody's doing. I didn't doing. notice that happened. Uh, I already had it because I'm watching Star Wars shit on there. Decart 941 came in for Robin Patrick with getting to soccer only Peacock, ESPN Plus, and Paramount Plus subscriptions. I have a buddy who is into soccer, and he is... Look, if he ever decides to not be into soccer anymore... Shit. Well, sorry, Elizabeth. You can't watch Paw Patrol anymore because I'm not paying for Paramount Plus. <laughs> Wait, that one might be Paramount. That might be on uh, Pluto. Isn't that? That's them, right? Maybe there's a Paw Patrol. I channel. doubt they have Paw Patrol. Really doubt it. Really doubt it. Did that seems skewing Pluto older. Open? Yeah. Did you leave it open? Go, go, go oh, back go to back. it. We have, yeah, we, have to, we need to know now. Can we watch the cop 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 dog? Well, we're really into the mighty the might the mighty pups right now. They're more of a, it's more of a uh, cars like Peppa Pig! situation. Sorry, Peppa's great as well. We're 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 pro <laughs> Peppa Pig in this house. Uh, see, you can't choose what you're gonna watch, right? Right, so, right, 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 right. When my daughter says, "Put on," so, so she'll have to learn they, the way that oh, we yeah, did, yeah. as when we were kids. Uh-huh. This is when this you comes know, on, and I want to watch it. Oh my god! I think let's just put on. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll leave the house, Rob. This isn't Garfield oh, and Friends. No, this is an ad. This is live. This is live. This is free with ads. I want. Oh, OLED model available now. In white. Kids are never too young to learn about the Trojan horse. No. Wait, what is... They're eating it? Because it's a Lunchable. What? Play with your food. You're watching... Thanks! I mean, you never heard of Lunchables? Those were, those were around when we were young. No, but like... Selling them as like play kits is new to me. <laughs> well, you want to get kids we went to ad for that. Got to get creative. We came back for the stinger. They do that. They do that. They do that. Oh, I hate kids cartoons. <laughs> they're they're out. Well, no, because they're it's alg- It's like it's just they just they're just shoved in. There's nowhere for you know what I mean. Like it's algorithmic in the same way that Twitch and YouTube are these days. Um, it's bad. All right, all right. So if we tallied it up, then so like my guess is they'll raise my cable rate. And I'll still be paying roughly what I am right now, but maybe well, the I won't first be thing you need to do two fifteen a month. The, the first thing you need to do is figure out what's going to happen to your, because you're in a package, right? And so that you know, right? I was in a package, and they just sliced it off. Like it, it, my my bill, my Comcast bill just went in half, um, because of that. And so what you need to figure out is if that's what will happen, or you get put into a different package. Like the thing I'm worried about for you, Rob, is that like. They're so particular about that upload down, like the upload speed in particular. Is that affected by oh, no. removing the Jenga piece of the of the cable? And then you get into a situation where you're like me, and you're like, "Hey, time to get that little doohickey, that thing, that Wait. white box. Like, yeah. that's what I have sitting Look over there. Unlimited gig. It's a whole gig. Is it a gig up and down? Look the speed. This." Com- the speed is not the problem. The com- my Comcast internet is extremely fast. I am I could not be happier well, with the speed. I don't need to better. download games. This I, I just there are no situations I'm in where it's like I need to download 150 gigs fa- like faster than I am now. Um, no, no. I desperately it, wish the upload could be better though. <laughs> of course, I, I I would love to have more than 20. Um, <laughs> and the thing to point out is it's like why is Rob's 40 and mine is 20? Because 
regional competition wildly impacts Comcast rates in which what you get, it is not, they are not national bundles. This is not, they are so deeply influenced by like, if you have any sense of competition around, it doesn't have to be good competition. Like it doesn't exist by me. So there are, it's just the prices are the prices. Even though I know there is a fucking fiber line across the street from my goddamn house that I can't access. What? 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 Is this up and down? What is it showing you? No, no, no way. No way. It's they not never show the down. Up. That's the that's the thing. They never show you. Like, you have to click further. You have to add it. Like you have to literally add it, and then in the fine print, also you'll I be don't able think. See. Do cables carry twelve hundred megabits per second? They do. Okay. So, they just recently uh, did a big upgrade, um, so, which is he, also, okay, but that's also what they do, right? Like, like that happened to me recently, where it's like, hey, we're gonna charge you a little more for your internet, but it's it, we just went from eight hundred to nine hundred mm. or whatever. It's like, I'm mm. good. Like, just leave went, me at so eight hundred. I went two thousand for free. I went two thousand for free. <laughs> um, they were just like your speeds. Speeds have changed where you are, and like your plan mm-hmm. is now this. And I was like, cool, I'll take that. And they're like, your ro- your router probably won't get all that. And I was like, probably. Yeah, not. that's um, the thing. Is like some things won't even. You have to have the right well, stuff. Well, so I will. So I just had to buy. Remember, Kato was having all those weird internet dropout issues. Yeah. It was my modem. Okay. Uh, and so I just bought a new modem that is capable of like faster speeds than than even this, I guess. Uh, but here's the other weird thing about Comcast. Now I will give them this. Every time I've dealt with like an actual compact Comcast technician. They are awesome. Horrible company, but the like <laughs> mm-hmm. engineers and techs who work for them have been like universally incredibly like pleasant people and like really knowledgeable and act- like it's really frustrating that like the company and the structure like sucks and then the people actually like do a lot to make sure the service is delivered rule and are like good at it. Yeah. Uh but the the guy was coming through and he was like yeah, they're continue like Speeds are about to go way up in the next couple years. They're like laying in cable right now that is like capable of higher speeds. Uh, they just don't like the endpoint infrastructure isn't really there. They don't have planned tiers for it uh, outside of like enterprise class uh, internet, but it's like there, it's coming. Uh, but yeah, so like I, if I got a new router, I could get the speed. Uh, right now, the router <laughs> is the is the choke point. Uh, Mr. Heaton, I just had AT and T fiber installed last week. They dug all the lines like three months ago interestingly enough as soon as that happened spectrum surfaced the good deal details <laughs> or the good deals yeah yep. right that's the th- that's yep. the thing is is so much of this is influenced by any sort like it's all hyper inflated because there is genuinely no competition especially if you live in these areas where comcast dominates um and like there are different like like in wisconsin it's all spectrum right or at least in the areas like i've been around so there also is no options there because Spectrum just runs everything. I got, I've got a pretty sick Verizon three hundred up, three hundred down for forty dollars. Because <sighs> we've got like three other competitors in the area. Yes, don't you have Google Fiber? Isn't that what you had before? No, I got FiOS, Verizon. Oh, Fios. Fiber. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So the FCC yeah. broadband map is like notoriously bogus, right? That's 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 one thing. Is yeah, this just shows where broadband is, but like, there's got to be a map that shows like where there's like where did I move to. <laughs> the long-awaited U.S. broadband maps are here. I was not even aware. It's okay. I'm gonna look at this. Long you weren't awaited. you weren't long awaiting a U.S. national broadband <laughs> map project. No, no, I gotta I gotta admit, I was not sitting around thinking about that. All right, I'm, I'm not broadcasting. Babe, I'm not up. broadcasting wake my. <laughs> The, bro- the national broadband Hold internet on. map is you here. To, show me the fucking... Do you want me to turn... I can turn you off for a second if you want to look. Give me, a, give me a minute. Okay. Uh, okay, this actually is kind of cool, though. All right. You're, you're free, you're free I mean, to it, it is straight up... All right, I'm checking now. It is straight up showing... Yes, it's like showing Comcast does down uh, uh, 1,200, up 35. That's their max. It's got my other options, T-Mobile down 100 like again let me hear let me list you my options at&t uh 7520 comcast 1235 
Hughes Network Systems, whoever the fuck that is, 25-3. Space, space Exploration Holdings, 110. T-Mobile, 120. Uh, Viasat, 103. Seems like these are like several satellite companies. So you read, you see here those numbers, and you know what that tells you? Comcast is the only one that yeah. does anything yeah. that is worthwhile. Horrible. Bad. Horrible. Bad. And literally across the guy, co- I can see it. I can see it. You're you know, they, they, see, across the street. they won't bring up a map, Kato. It, it's just kind of a punch in your. It's uh, now it's on the screen too. That's annoying. Uh, but literally, if I, so if I click, where I can... yeah, you don't have all these green dots that you can click on the individual houses that show w- exactly how they're connected. Are you on the FCC have. map? Yeah. Right. Right, I'm going, you should right, actually do the FCC, FCC map. map. It's actually, it's actually, we made fun All of right. it, but actually, this is this, this thing is sick because if I if I click literally across the street, so right, so me it says you know AT and T seventy five twenty, and I click right across the street, and it jumps to AT and T one thousand one thousand. That's what I want. The good shit oh, is they across got a the hex street. Map. I need to. Ru- shit, My city needs to this. rise up. We need to rise up. But by rise up, I mean we need to rise up against the oppressive that is Comcast and and pray to our uh, newfound kings, the AT and T. So what are you doing um, in your area? And they're still they're still showing my address. Yeah, I'm not pulling like, it up. Enter it. You can't. There we go. Okay, I think we're clear now. I'm double checking. Um, Just yeah. can you put in a like a different city near you so people can at least see what the um. How bad is it? Whoa. This is amazing. Oh, my God. Uh, is this safe to pull up now? So where does it show, Patrick, where does it show, like, who who does Click on a green dot. Oh. Click on a green dot. Okay. Uh... And then you will get individual providers that service that household. So if you just pick a random part of, yeah, Boston. Yeah. Um, Okay. Vic's uh, breakfast. Um... All right, uh, Kato, I think we're good to bring it down. Here. Okay. Kato, can you can you link the because other people can't link in the chat? Can you link it to people so they can broadbandmap.fcc.gov? There you go. Oh, dangerous doctors got it in there. All right, it's like random address. Uh, it's a, uh, like... All right, so we're looking at random address. Yeah. Patrick, where do I find my, like, who provides, like, where? You should just be able to click on it. Like, that's how it's, it works. For I think me. it's on the you right just side. Click on one of the, yeah, the uh, right side, okay. you'll get a green dot. You get, uh, there you go. Yeah. Comcast. Oh, okay. Hey, that, oh, they've okay. got Fios. They got fiber over there. Look oh, at that. Okay. Those are those good numbers. Man. Nice. This is neat. Okay. Okay. So let's let's say Nash Nashua. We gotta get to Nashua. <laughs> Sorry, a little shout out to my old West Wing homies. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Man, I can't figure. I'm now. I'm just trying to figure out how they ran no, this. Click line. one of those. Click one of those. This fiber yeah, line doesn't make any sense. It's like middle j- of a neighborhood. They Yo, literally cut. just ran it to like the most expensive neighbor, like oh. this little cul de sac of a fucking neighborhood. Who's Consolidated Communications Inc.? Hot damn! 2000, 2000? New Hampshire Residential Business Services Consolidated. Consolidated.com. Consolidated Communications. Who are you? Who, who are, are you? you? Who are the FCC? <laughs> who are you? Who you are? Who are you? Tell me who you are. I demand details. Internet Where are you keeping service. the gigabits consolidated? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're consolidating it to a certain area, Rob. It's kind of in the name. Where's the money, Lebowski? <laughs> People are like, I think it's Spectrum. Twisted Comcast. <laughs> no, this looks like something it's just a subsidiary. Hang on, about us. About us. Welcome to Consolidate. Okay, but yeah, who click owns the little you? yeah. 
Uh, they're Nasdaq listed. It's just they just they they did the damn thing. They made it their own company. <laughs> but you know, what's their vision? They turn technology into solutions. Connect people and enrich how their customers live. I am uh Okay, so hold on. We are just going we are moving to New Hampshire as soon as <laughs> I get significantly more money. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Okay. This is kind of a cool tool. I wish this provided more, like, I wish I could bring a color overlay on this map and show, like, where there's, like, competition regions. That would be really nice. But, I mean, this is this is the kind of thing, like, <laughs> government, you know, broadly very inefficient, but, like, shit like this is really neat. Like, I'm glad this exists. I'm sure it is not without fault and could have, I saw some people complaining about some of the, like, being able to correct inaccuracies in the data, but... We started like cracking jokes about this, and now all of us are going to spend a lot of time clicking on green dots, on pouring over this map. Yeah, <laughs> what what do these people have in their home, or what could they have? Um, yeah, okay. So, I wow. think, hey, I mean, hey, 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 uh, Lanini, I figured out that half of my town that has fiber, and I'm moving two blocks to get it. See, look. <laughs> Power to the people! I can now move providing across a service. the service. Those, those houses are like 3x the cost of what I paid for mine. Oh, I, like, no. it's, I can see them. I can see they're just across the street, but they are they are mini they're 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 mini mansions, and I uh, I, can, I cannot afford them. But but if I pitch to my wife, look, you know, can we afford an eight hundred thousand dollar house? No. But if we just think about the savings over time from over a life to time. fiber, over a lot, um, I, I mean, tr truly, it makes sense. It pays for itself. Like uh, <laughs> that eight hundred thousand dollar house, uh, basically free. Hello, uh, <laughs> this is how we send our kids to college by getting a, a fiber line. <laughs> well, right, and then you know you will be able to get access to so much legitimate media using that fiber. Uh, from friends who are sharing their lawfully uh, ripped media libraries. Yeah. C uh, cut to a year from now, Rob, Rob and Patrick, freshly divorced, but moving to a fiber area and sharing a YouTube TV account, <laughs> thriving, thriving. What's better than this? As, as we slowly cry over our induction uh, cooking uh, components. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, yeah, I think all totaled, so assume the bundle I have costs, like, 150 a month. Maybe they would just cut it in half once I cut cable off. Plus, there's the, hundred. like, so, like, say, 75. Um, mm -hmm. so the I just don't, I don't, TV I don't think your like, internet's gonna stay at 75. Is, I is what don't I'm... either, but the but the thing that will go away is like the broadcast TV, the HD technology fee. Yep. Yep. Uh, so like that is those, those that's like twenty seven and uh, ten, so that's like thirty seven bucks. Uh, so we're like a hundred and uh, like what twelve now? Hun like yeah, one hundred twelve plus the DVR rental. Uh, which is probably like another 10, so 122. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So, like, Kato, so we've got YouTube TV uh, 55 uh -huh. versus 100 and, uh, like, 22. We're, ma like, we're making so much money. We, we free up so much money doing this that then we can have League Pass. Right. And, and, the, and the, app is, the app is great, too, specifically, right? Like, I... It's it's like so it's 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 good with multiple devices. Like I I can have the game on on my television, and if the dog has to get walked, I can just you know put on my headphones, 
crank that on on my on my phone and you know go for a walk and so listen to the to the play by play um the app is is really well done the the cloud dvr stuff i don't use as much because i don't tend to watch a ton of television channels that i need to like look up later maybe maybe you would um take advantage of that uh more than 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 i currently am but uh i do think canceling your cable and switching to youtube tv is is probably is probably your bet it's too bad they don't offer like a bundle with youtube premium i'm unwilling like the ads on youtube i find annoying but i just have not been able to pull the trigger on on that People are pointing out, like, and, and this mm-hmm. every time you deal with Comcast, you are dealing with. Um, there's like the like they like. There's there is kind of a bluffing component of this because the person you do call into is going to be like, well, you're not going to cost this much, and like they yep. will have options they can extend, but like they are given, uh, like, because one thing I discovered uh, during my last go round with Comcast over the internet dropouts was the fact that. Um, they kept canceling service calls or they kept trying to get me to cancel service calls. So like, I would be like my, like, I'd be like, my shit's fucked up. And the robot would be like, Hmm, your shit does seem to be fucked up. We will schedule you like, like we'll put you through to a technician. And mm-hmm. once you do some troubleshooting, we will schedule a service call. Great. The second the service call was scheduled, I would get a phone call from a different Comcast, uh, like call center being like, Oh, it seems like your issue is probably resolved. Do you still need that service call? We just cancel it right now. And <laughs> they're trying, like, you know, the technician explained to me later, those call centers, they are given, like, those people get commissions every time someone mm-hmm. seems like, yeah, it does seem like it's been uh, addressed. And they cancel the service call. Uh, and <sighs> so, like, that, yeah, there's, like, other parts of the company that are built to kind of, like, cut costs or like kind of soak up uh you know some of the services you're supposed to be paying for so that's that's the that's the frustration but i think we've uh we have maybe solved this patrick it's i think get, yeah it, i do like, think this is we can't we can't run a fiber line to your house we can't run a fiber line to my house but i think I th- I I had told myself I will just do YouTube TV for the three months that I got the slightly cheaper deal, and I think there's in- increasingly a feeling that I'm just going to eat that price and and just keep doing it. Yeah, it's uh, well, especially you know, Patrick. If I'm being really honest, like I'm mm-hmm. like, yes, we're paying a lot for yes, like what amounts to live sports that's that's what i'm paying a lot for but yeah. they will yes. be watchable they will look they will be way, like even without the 4k like stream they will look way way better than they have in in ages um uh danny vicky you can totally just keep rotating new email addresses for youtube tv Shh. i mean i've never done that i thought about it and I, look, i think look you're talking to captain efficiency here you know i've i i've I ran in America. America. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's very yeah, easy. Thrift. Like, all... well, look. Like, especially with like Google and Apple, make it exceptionally easy to just generate a new email and sign up for a service. Um, you can do that. Um, and I just looked at myself in the mirror and said, I, I didn't think that was worth the ten dollars a month I was saving. And I turned thirty eight in a couple of weeks, and I'm just by golly. Think of all the money I'm saving by having convinced myself that. Kirkland coffee and scotch is good. I'm, I'm, that's what that <laughs> money is going towards is that, that difference in the YouTube <laughs> the three month sale. Kato, let's, uh, let's cost this out actually a little bit. Uh huh. Uh, we know that I'm going to buy League Pass Premium. We just know that. Oh, premium. No, you're going to buy League free Pass, thing. not premium. Oh. No, no, no. It, that one brings a commercial free. Okay. All right. Now, admittedly, that probably means during live games. But wait, doesn't that just a, a placeholder? But yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they I don't. Play is a that really song. worth it? Bum, it's just like it's just. Bum, like, bum, we'll be back soon. Do, but like, I, I, this this has VOD features, right? I can watch games the next day, right? Because like, there's so much. There's so much sports. So like, if I'm like, but that's in, that's already in 
That's already in league. Oh, they say Brown Lantern but says you get a stadium feed. Ooh, I don't will it. Stadium. Does it have the feed. commercials when you watch the on demand yeah. stuff? Uh, so this stuff does have on demand, right? Like I'll just be able to watch the games the day later. That well, it says classic games from the archives. That's not. <laughs> Not, That's not yesterday's me. game. What about yesterday's game? Oh, but games? Rob, uh, wait. So, so this, hold, here's the question: Is League Pass integrating into YouTube TV? Right? It's an add-on channel, right? It's not a separate app. You'll just be recording it. You can just record. Like you can set all the teams that you like, oh. and YouTube TV will just automatically record all of their games. Is that also is that a different price if it's going through YouTube TV? Because I think we're just looking at, like, this is, like, this is what, if you just want, if you just want this, right? I just don't yeah. know if, you, is League Pass using YouTube TV's DVR? I don't know. Chad is going to answer no, this but, for me but, in a Right, but if they have VOD functions, then I don't need DVR. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the thing. It says custom condensed games. Watch cut down versions of every game or choose team specific Damn, recaps. you could choose different camera angles. Oh, I didn't choose my own broadcast. I didn't watch Homer feeds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do love that. I, I, Rob, the amount of times I wish I could watch Bears games. Okay, League Pass has bots, so I'll be able to watch the, the games on delay. All right, okay, okay. But yeah, you were saying, Patrick. Um, I, I, I wish I could watch the radio play-by-play play when I watch Bears games as opposed to whatever <laughs> crappy seventh-tier Fox group I get because the Bears are are always bad. Um, but it would be nice if it integrated with the YouTube DVR. I just don't know if that's true. Um, people are saying you can do that with Sling. You can get Leak Pass and then it uses Sling's DVR, but it doesn't look like we have an answer on whether that's... Uh... But it seems like you'll be okay. Um and again, it's I'm a flat fee, right? It's sixty-five yeah, yeah. bucks for the season as opposed to sixty-five bucks, you know, per month or whatever. So, man, the Fire Stick keeps coming back up. <laughs> like, huh. Game Pass may not be on <clears throat> the LG at like App Store yet, but like people are like, I got it on my Fire Stick. Yeah, they got it on their Fire Stick, Rob. Th those are just using they have it on their those fire websites. Stick. Yeah, yeah. the the fire The fire stick makes uh, anything possible for the All low low price of your time and effort. Okay, people. Every league pass app sucks. Well, that's not that's not appetizing. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I think the MLB MLB <clears throat> has the like, the gold standard for sports um, apps. I've I've never paid for was it MLB at bat? I think is what the their league one is, but um. I've heard their app is pretty good. Kato, I think we're going to have to accept that it's going to be 65 a month for YouTube. We shouldn't use that promo rate. Yeah. That's going to be it's going to be 65 a month. Okay. 65. Uh, mm -hmm. But then, you know, if you think about like, like league pass per year, what's 65 divided by 12, Wait, see, right? See more add-ons. <laughs> is that is there here's the thing. Is there add-on? Oh. That you know, Kato, you're so smart. Like the, the, uh, it's probably I, a different price if it's if it exists through here, right? NBA League Pass, baby. There it is. Okay. That's integration. What, that? what does it do? Huh. Can you click? Well, it? I don't know. I'd have to. I'd probably have to order it. Oh, yeah, here. Let me see what I can on do on, on my app. Um, uh, also, I see, wanted old way uh, point, We would just start experimenting with this stuff, yeah. and then this vod would disappear in like five minutes. It was like, <laughs> well, you doxed your address. Uh, two forms of payment were exposed. Uh, uh, also, I don't know why you flashed your social in front of the camera for a second, <laughs> but there goes that vod. All right, Kato. Oh, think about it. Kato. Yeah. Uh, per month. League Pass uh -huh. is just going to be uh, like five fifty. They're it's giving it away. Yeah, they're giving it away. How many of those months are you actually watching? Best okay, game? Rob. Well, Rob I'm just okay, averaging so off got year, it, you know, for budgeting purposes. Uh huh. Uh, got to pull. Got to <laughs> pulled up here. Um, in in my account. So yes, you have NBA League Pass, all out of market games, monthly, fifteen dollars a month, uh, season. Forty nine ninety nine a year, 
uh, and then they get a seven day free trial. Um, uh, although I guess I've, I've actually, oh, so the free trial. So if you want to, if you want to see how it works, it's a seven day free trial and you can cancel that within seven days. And then you could purchase the season. If you purchase the season, then you're, you're stuck with, um, I gotta take this call. I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, there's no ESPN plus as an add on though. That's unfortunate. Oh. Oh yes. no! Well, because they have that deal with Disney, right? That's the only place you can get them. Mm, yeah, is in the Hulu Disney, whatever bundle. But yeah, Kyle, let's just change the cost on that NBA League Pass thing to just five fifty. Five fifty. Okay, that's not what it per month. Yes, God, this is I. I I think this is a valid budgeting approach. Because <laughs> we're trying, like, we're trying to establish what monthly costs are. Well, okay. Well, how much is because that's how we TV... mostly pay for things. How much is YouTube in our lives per month? Sixty-four. Split that. Is that the same? Is that the same as the NBA League Pass? That's how math works, right? Well, you no YouTube TV is going no 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 cut up the you that was a monthly cost that was sixty no that one's sixty five a month that one is so YouTube oh. TV is sixty five a month oh oh uh, oh uh, oh what right <laughs> that wasn't per year it was per month <laughs> what <laughs> excuse me that's what cable costs man who why. Why? Who? Because uh, because the entire business because the real reason Kato is the entire business model for like the TV stations is that like they charge fees for access to their content, uh, and so like. But what content? Like all the stuff they broadcast. Is it worth it? Do you watch any of that? It come the the whole thing comes as a bundle. Right, like that's kind of that's what you're up against is, like the reason, like you you kind of have to. There are websites. <sighs> there are websites. Every time the Ravens play, and I'm like, you know what? I'll check out that game. I put Reddit NFL stream into Google and get a link. <laughs> I I don't like that. It's so it's so much hassle. There's so many pop ups you have to click past. There are. There's you, so you many like, <laughs> and then half the pop ups are like, "Yep, that's malware." <laughs> quick, quick, force close that tab. <laughs> Motor trend. Ad block. Ad block. Is it more or less of a hassle than sixty five a month? Though, yeah, that's why. That's my thinking. Um. To be fair, I do have access to a couple other of the streaming services through my family. So I get uh, Netflix covered because my family has Netflix. So that's free. I I contribute HBO Max and Disney. Did I see somebody saying that HBO Max has sports now? What? I think somebody said that. Sports. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. The U.S. Soccer. National Soccer. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's actually a smart draw. People. People love that shit. Yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, this is all very, very reasonable. I think this is this is the way to go. YouTube TV, NBA League Pass. Not watching TikTok hacking tutorial videos. Isn't this shit supposed to be a bit? I feel like there were laws about bundling where you could, like, where it was kind of not super legal to force <laughs> people to buy products they don't want. Uh, you think in there's order laws in this country? They do. I don't, but that that's been the whole. That's it. I feel like that that's been the whole uh, model since the beginning of cable, right? Like I don't know. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, so <clears throat> cable bundling, yes, like the, there's the model's been that they make it very hard to the whole basic cable thing. That's the ultimate bundle, right? Like who gets bundled into uh, your sort of minimum cable package. Uh, does this feel like it's probably not a neutral party? The digital digitalregulation.org. Do you ever have a feeling this is not a disinterested third party? What are you? What, are, what is happening this... here? What are you? What, what is? What, what are you looking at now? Are we looking at regulators? Patrick, I'm trying to figure out why it is legal that I should. Like the minute I'm oh, hey. like, I don't want your bullshit cable TV. They're like, then mm. fuck you. Internet the price of an internet brick just went up. <laughs> hey, look, the World Bank. So yeah, the World Bank, as we all know, they're cool. Yeah, we love them. How's the I mean, all, all that stuff? All that stuff is going that way. Like we're about to enter an age in which, uh, you know, like all the platforms are doing ad tiers, and also bundles are becoming more and more common between different disparate streaming services. Like what you are describing in regards to the price of internet going up when you slash off cable is just going to be, well, if you don't want Disney Plus, then the cost of Hulu has just gone up in your in your bundle. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, I'm curious. Before we go, did we get any other interesting mysteries that people wanted solved? I like. I know that people um, submitted some questions. They did. Yeah, we were gonna do. Yeah, we were gonna do reader ones, and then um, we we wanted to search anti Comcast uh, propaganda. Propaganda. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me look through these ones I've got here. Um, Okay. I got my first computer uh, in uh, Chris- for Christmas in 1996. With it, my parents got me a two-disc collection of a thousand games that was called something like the Encyclopedia of Games. It had a lot of ASCII stuff and shareware on it. There's one game on there I loved, which I'd like to know the name of. It was a DOS game where you controlled a ball attached to a tether with a mouse and had to pop targets with it. The ball was physics-based, and you knew too quickly the tether would break and you would lose. Um, so I guess we start by searching the encyclopedia of games. Um, I'm not familiar with this. I don't. There it think. is on I eBay. I remember like the complete encyclopedia of games, two discs. But I mean, I remember like different just... bundles, like just download <laughs> the complete just download encyclopedia that shit. of games. <laughs> um, Do copy that floppy. Put that floppy on a USB disk. It's a thousand games. It's a thousand games. That's so many games. I mean, that's. that's I mean, that's, that's just. You know, speaking of bundles, it's got to be tiny, though, right? How big is this? Uh, just well, the that... biggest, like the ISO is like four hundred seventy. Yeah, Megs, that's tiny. It's so small. That's tiny. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 I'm looking wait, up. Wait. wait. Uh, we can just look up the contents. There we go. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's it's chopper. Oh, is, this oh yeah, com- B dot ship. Gala. Comic. A lot of games. Helios. Well, it's a hundred. It's I mean, Robin's an encyclopedia. It's true. It's true. All right, we're gonna have to. Can you just put in list of encyclopedia of games? Give me that. Give me this. You know, when you just look at encyclopedia games, we're getting a lot of a lot of weird stuff. Well, it's gotta be so. Uh, they don't have any of the. Um... You know, where is the, like, packaging materials for this? They, they don't have it. Because uh, usually, like, they, there could be some sort of... Uh... Here, I've got, I've got you. Oh, um... uh, wait, wait, wait. Did you find it? I've got, I've got an eBay. An Gameless eBay CSV. That seems promising. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got that CSV. Comma separated values, my favorite. Minimum system requirements. 386, 486, IMB, IBM compatible or higher, VGA card, color VGA monitor, hard disk, 4 megabytes of RAM, DOS 5.1 or higher, 
Windows 3.1 or later mouse. It's got right. two CD-ROMs. So it's an incredible value. Rated pending. They never get around to this like, one? What, <laughs> like, what are these games? Like, who... All right, so what was the If you enjoy game? playing games on your computer, do not miss the opportunity to own one of the largest and most complete collections of games in the world. With over a thousand games, including old time favorites and hundreds of commercial demos and two CD ROMs, the complete encyclopedia of games is one of the largest, most comprehensive coll- collections of computer games in the world. Uh, yeah, I will reread. Um, I got my first computer for Christmas in 1996. With it, my parents got me a two disc collection of a thousand games that was called something like the encyclopedia of games this has got to be it like this is we have found that it had a lot of ascii stuff and shareware on it and that is definitely what this is promising there's one game in there i love which i like to know the name of it was a dos game where you controlled a ball a ball attached to a tether with a mouse and had to pop targets with it the ball was physics based and if you moved it too quickly the tether would break and you would lose okay do we have the list we have the list all right all right. <clears throat> e- EGA Golf. Not to be confused with PGA Golf. Well, EGA was a, you know, was the, the monitor type, right? Or the, right, the so type of graphics. Tether. Are you just going to look at Tether? It's a place to start. I guess, yeah. Rummy. Let's play some Rummy. Can we get this running? Can we get this running on your computer? Probably. <laughs> well, you'd have to run a Do- you'd have to run DOS box, right? I mean, yeah. this is at least obscure enough that I can't even find, like, a YouTube video of somebody just playing it. Island, which is a little of odd. Danger. Tommy's toy pack, one of two. Wait, the Need for Speed demos on this? The original? Perfect. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, again, it said okay. shareware, right? So it's just like pulling down. Yeah. Yeah. This is a lot of games. Windows Yahtzee for Windows. <laughs> Windows. I don't know that we're going to... You know what? I think maybe that... I, I, I have to be perfectly honest. I think what we should do... XCOM! Is not, investi- is not investigate this any further at the moment. And then we just need to get this up and running. And come back yeah. and pick up this mystery. Yeah. yeah. We can, I we think we need to get... Together. This is a mystery. I think we need to get the encyclopedia of games uh, online. And I think we need to scroll through two CD-ROMs worth of demos from a specific area of the PC. Which is great. Like, 1996 is a awesome era <laughs> for PC games. Uh, yeah. And I, I, I think we just need to... I, I would just... Like, I gotta be out of here in, in, in 15 minutes to watch yep, my feverish kid. And it's like, I would hate... I would hate to cut this one short. I feel like this is just a good tea. Like, I think the the fun part is, can we get to the end of one of these streams and have our next mystery queued up? And I think, uh, I think, I think we do. It. I think yeah. we do. I think we find. Um, Sorry, I just saw Guy Fieri life. talking into something, and I just lost my train of thought for a second. <laughs> uh, well, that that has been it. We're gonna have to come up with a name for this. I was, I like Waypoint Detective Agency was the one I had like. <clears throat> wrote down in a document but i, I haven't i haven't committed the to that, wda but, um, the wda that's pretty good that's <laughs> not bad the wda um but yeah we'll be back uh soon uh we wanted to get back to doing these like kind of <laughs> what do we call it? game neutral <laughs> uh, yeah. streams uh in which we uh sort of just kind of goof around and uh waypoint consumer reports that's also that's pretty good, good. That's good. um uh, Vice Legal. I don't know. Consu- can, will Consumer Reports issue a cease and desist? Is that like, <laughs> is that defending consumers if someone? Uh, uh... So uh, yeah, so we'll we'll be back soon with another one of these, whether it's uh, next week uh, or not. I'm not exactly sure. We, uh, but uh, it seems like people are really enjoying these. We want to uh, keep doing them, and so uh, yeah, we'll be back soon. What else we got going on? This week, we've got, what, Waypoint Radio. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be recording. Uh, Friday, we have uh, Ren and Kato. We'll Dwarves. be discovering Dwarves. new tutorial level uh, <laughs> options in the game while having played it for a number shit of wasn't, hours. That shit wasn't in the tutorial. It wasn't in the tutorial. I did that I tutorial. Don't... I don't, I, 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 my, my dwarves are thriving and happy. I don't know what everyone was getting on my case about. Hmm. 
<laughs> after this and after lunch, Kata will be editing the sports podcast. It'll show up in the Waypoint Plus feed. That'll go up on Saturday for uh, everyone else ahead of the uh, divisional round games. Uh, we talk about uh, what happened with Damar Hamlin on the Buffalo Bills. We talk about uh, the Bears' number one draft pick. We talk about kind of like, probably, like injuries in, in general, like what happened with Tua on the Dolphins. Uh, just kind of like a, a broad tour of what's happening um, in sports and in, in the NFL after having been away for a month and change. So look forward to that as well. Uh, Nostalgia, the uh, Andre Tarkovsky movie, was the latest one we watched for my turn. That just went up on the main feed early this morning. Uh, if you're not a subscriber to Waypoint Plus, but if you'd like to get those a week in advance, you can by subscribing at waypointplus.com. And the next film we're going to watch is uh, David Lowry's The Green Knight, because I found a quote Woo! where David Lowry said they pulled inspiration from a Tarkovsky film when thinking of the visuals for that. Uh, Rob has not seen that movie. Ren has not seen that movie. Kato and I have seen... Dev I would. Patel, I would assume it the other way interesting... around. If I ask <laughs> this group of people who had yeah. who got into the Green Knight when it came out, I would have flipped those those names. <laughs> uh, it's. I know, but it, it's the, the chance to have a reason to rewatch that film yeah. is uh, yeah. a delight. It is hundred percent. It is so. It is so. Yeah. Uh, oh no! It's uh, it's Lubu saying, "Can I believe Rob hasn't seen it?" Yes. The fact that Rob hasn't seen it was like half the reason I chose the film was because uh, I, I I am sure Rob is going to uh, absolutely love it. So stay tuned for that as the, the the weeks ahead roll on, and we'll be back with the next stream on Friday with Dwarf Fortress. So thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you soon. The further I scroll on this page, the more this seems like a scam. Ha ha ha!